Greetings to everyone who is listening to me right about now. I have a very powerful word for you, my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters, before I begin this amazing, powerful word, I would like to request each and everyone to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe and turn on all the notifications so that you may never ever miss out on future videos. If you are there and you'd wish to get in touch with me, you want me to pray for you, you want me to speak a word over your life, send me a message and send me a message through my email address or through my WhatsApp number. All those details are in the about section of this channel. I will respond to you. I will pray for you. The Bible says it clear that the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. My brothers and sisters, when you have someone pray for you, a righteous man pray for you, that prayer will availeth much. Dear brothers and sisters, I have an amazing word just for you. This word is learn how to distinguish yourself from others. Some of you may have heard this word, but this word is a new revelation. This word is going to bless you. This word is going to enlarge your territories. My brothers and sisters, some of you have had people who have been trying to compete with you and you don't know why someone is competing with you. It is because there is something inside of you that you have seen that they do not have. When you distinguish yourself from the rest, you are going to be unique. You are going to stand out. You will be the head and never the tail. You will be above and not beneath. You see, the reason as to why companies, one of the reasons as to why companies, corporations will hire someone is because that person has something that others do not have. Managers are given managerial positions is because they are, able to solve problems they're able to deal with the problems some of you are praying for god to make you a manager and yet you don't want stress you are praying for god for promotion and yet you don't know the place that you want to be promoted to is a stressing place you have to deal with a lot of people you have to deal with a lot of clients you have to spend more time in research so before even you pray for all these things you need wisdom don't pray for a position that you will not be able to do well. Thank God for where you are. And if God promotes you, if God uses men to promote you, women to promote you, praise the name of the Lord. Just praise the name of the Lord. Today's scripture is from the book of Daniel chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. Daniel chapter 6. Verse 1, 2, 3. The Bible says, It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 stirrups, to be over the whole kingdom, and over these three governors, of whom Daniel was one, that the stirrups might give account to them, so that the king would suffer no loss. Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and stirrups because an excellent spirit was in him and the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. What an amazing, powerful word. I love this word. The Bible says it pleased Darius. He was so pleased when he looked at Daniel's report. When he observed this young man called Daniel, he was pleased to set him over the kingdom. It pleased him to set him over the kingdom, 120 stirrups, to be over the whole kingdom. And over these, the Bible says, three governors of whom Daniel was one. Daniel was given authority. To rule over a lot of people. Now the Bible says. Oh, 
that the stirrups may give an account with them, so that the king would suffer no loss. The reason as to why Daniel was placed in that position among the governors is that was the king would suffer no loss. He observed Daniel. And he knew Daniel was diligent. The Bible tells us about the secret of Daniel. In verse 5 it says, in verse 3 it says, Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and stirrups. Not the other. You see, there were many Daniels in the kingdom. But the Bible says this Daniel, this specific Daniel, had the ability to distinguish himself above the governors and stirrups. Those governors they had set him together with, he distinguished himself about them. He was unique. Brothers and sisters, wherever you are, learn how to distinguish yourself from others. If you want to go far, learn how to distinguish yourself from others. When others are complaining of work overload, don't complain. When others are complaining, if they're always in a sorry state, don't be in a sorry state. When people come late for work, be the first to be there for work. Don't follow a lot of people. When people are talking negative about your boss, even if the boss is a bad boss, talk positive about him. Encourage them. Learn how to distinguish yourself from others. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says, because an excellent spirit was in him. That is what I'm talking about. An excellent spirit will help you to be 10 times ahead of your enemies. An excellent spirit will help you to uh, be early for work, to finish your work well, to do your work well without complaining. The Bible says the king gave thought to sending him over the whole realm. The king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm to take the position of the king. That's actually what, what it actually means. Because he was supposed to be over the whole realm. The king is, up, is the one who's over the whole realm. But now the king has realized, had realized that this Daniel was deserving to be an equal with him. He gave thought. I pray for you. May your enemies give thought to setting you over the whole company. May your accusers give thought to setting you over the whole organization. May God give them sleepless nights that your enemies will favor you. Brothers and sisters, learn how to distinguish yourself from the rest of the people. Remember, I have already spoken about this, that you are unique. You are different. You are not just like anybody. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this word has encouraged you. Remember to keep sharing this word. If you are there and you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you have watched how this ministry has blessed others and you want to be, be a blessing, you can do so through your giving. Remember, you can give through PayPal. My PayPal is in the About section of this amazing channel. And God will bless you. God will increase in you. Until next time, Shalom.